what is going on guys welcome back to the channel so in this video i will be messing around with the lovely Kone sega gera are going against the police here in fairhaven and this is probably going to be one of the last most wanted videos i will most likely be doing unless you guys do want to see some more of them but let me go turn around back this way now if you guys are wondering the police in most wanted 2012 are probably going to be some of my favorite police in any need for speed game the reason for that is going to come down to a couple of factors so yes obviously the police in 2012 did not have a lot of health and you can easily destroy them number two one of the other fun things is you can basically mess around with them and destroy them quick that way you can actually run legit circles around them Funny thing is, guys, right here at this location, at this main part of the map here is my favorite place to mess around with them on. You can legit get all the way to level 6 heat with no issues destroying them back and forth, and that was probably one of my favorite things about it. Like a quick example of this, if we look at something like Need for Speed 2015, which I don't know how people will take this, but I would say the police in that game were probably some of the most unfun, or at least probably wasn't my favorite way they have designed them. The reason for that is obviously the cops are indestructible. I guess every cop was made of vibranium and you could legit not even touch them. And also on another part of that, I just did not enjoy actually trying to destroy them. And if we look at like something like Rivals, for example, which I also have to say this, I'm most likely going to do a police type of video to where I basically go over each Need for Speed game and talk about each one on how the police was designed in each of them and some of my favorite games most likely pretty much in the recent times because I can't go all the way back to like 05 and stuff like that. But doing something like Most Wanted Rivals 2015 Payback and all that good stuff. So definitely stay tuned for that. But looking at something like Rivals though, obviously the cops in that game are completely built different if you are a racer. And then we also have something like Payback, which I didn't really like the police in that game, but... Let me know in the comments below, guys, in general, of which game you actually like the most. And once again, I will definitely take a deep dive into this. But here in 2012, though, I found it really fun to mess around with them because obviously you can destroy them quick here. Barely touching them, guys, I'm obviously using the lovely Koenigsegg Gera R, which we can argue and say this is probably one of the fastest cars in the entire game. If not, most likely the fastest hitting a crazy high speed, but the acceleration on this car with Short Gears Pro makes destroying this cops really easy. And I am also running, let me see here if you want to know, Reinforced Pro and Impact Protection Pro. That way I don't die as quick. Like if you put like the aero thing on the car and also like a lightweight chassis, then yeah, you're most likely going to get destroyed, especially when the SWAT trucks show up. But let me uh, go around in the circle here and try to destroy more of them if I can actually drive. And I feel like that's probably one of my favorite things about this area because you can basically drive up and down this road and never really get busted if you are taking precaution and being careful on like where the police are and stuff like that. Like you can switch around, then they're coming this way, they obviously come at you, which um, you're probably going to crash a lot, guys. But good thing, you obviously cannot destroy your car on most wanted similar to something like heat or something, so you're obviously not going to have to worry about that, but... Let me see if I can not die. Oh, so I, um, so we're killing each other now. That's a good way to do it. Luckily, after that, though, you can actually go back over to the gas station and get yourself fixed up there, which I need to do. You also get a lot of nitrous back, which is dope. Where am I at? I'm on level three, so not too bad. And yeah, I'm kind of destroying myself a lot, bro. Probably why you should not go head on to the police. That's why I try to do something like this and basically go quick this way turn around a bit and try to go back after them when they're not coming right at you if I can actually drive oh and I got t-bone there so I got destroyed good thing about this though is you obviously want to be a bit careful where you are getting hit so you're most likely not going to get destroyed there but you know that would probably help a little bit head back this way and bro I am failing at driving you know one thing I have to admit by the way playing most wanted on steam okay I do understand you obviously have to plug a controller in to play the game, or at least it doesn't say it's supported. I am actually using a PS5 controller because I don't have an Xbox controller, and I play on PlayStation. So it would probably be easier for me to actually plug that into, you know, the computer. So I have to say, like, it is working good, yes, but I gotta admit it, guys. It just doesn't run that well with a controller on PC, like, at least compared to a PlayStation 3 before... Which I would definitely say ran a lot better, most likely because it probably wasn't made for controller on Steam. But who really knows? I really like when the cops do that. So you can actually get to a point where you destroy them all. And then you're basically chilling. I'm on level 4, bro. Come at me. Oh, man. I should have probably crashed into him. Oh, I crashed into this one, though. There it is. Got to level it up a little bit by crashing them a lot. And you can legit just play Ring Around the Rosie here with him. 
destroy that one, T-boning them. And the funny thing is, you can actually get to the point where there is no cops anywhere, bro. You pretty much have to leave one alive, so they come back after you. you go back this way here. Fly around this side. Koenigsegg, Gera R, man. Like, I want this car in other Need for Speed games, bro. Dude, that was not what I had in mind. So the cop is now using pedestrians to destroy me. That makes sense. Almost like in Grand Theft Auto when the cop's like, Hey, yo, bro, this dude just stole a car. Let's get him. While they steal a car to chase you. Makes sense, doesn't it? So now we are getting destroyed, or at least the cops are destroying the AI racers or the AI pedestrians to pull you over. Makes sense, right? Imagine if they actually did something like that. That would be something I would say. About to be level 5, which... Pretty sure the lovely Corvettes should be showing up here soon. Hoping they do. Those are pretty fun to mess with. Alright, let's destroy them all then. Destroyed two there. I'm on level five now, guys. You gotta keep it up. Sorry, Van. No, you probably weren't part of that. There's the Corvette cop. There's another one. Luckily, the Corvettes have, like, no health, so you can, like, destroy them quick. Go back around this way here. Bro, even the cops drive as bad as I do. That's good to know. And I didn't destroy him that time. Let me head back this way. Go back around that side. Go up the highway a little bit. Bro, the Corvette cops in this game are insane. Like, look how fast this... Okay, that was bad driving. But the Corvette cops are so fast. Like, you could be going 250 in an Agera R. And the cops are like, hey, bro, that's it? That's all you got, son? All right, you got to do better than that, bro. And legit, bro, they actually do better. Fun fact, by the way, guys. I don't know if you know this here in Most Wanted. But you can actually destroy... The SWAT trucks, yes, you actually can. I do know my friend was like, wait, really? You actually can destroy them. Yes, it's obviously going to be like the perfect time hit with like Power Shot Nitrous. But yes, you can actually destroy them. And you can destroy yourself. I am currently losing the police. That's not what we want. There we are. And the cops are kind of scary the way they drive, bro. Not going to lie there. Kind of surprised I actually lost them. And I got destroyed by the Corvettes again because the Corvettes are crazy, bruh. All right, seriously, I'm going to have to do a test on that. Which Need for Speed game had the craziest Corvette cops, bro? Legit, I am wondering exactly because I do know in Payback they had them. They obviously had them in Heat. And we also have them in Unbound. The question is, which ones are crazier? We'll have to find that out, so stay tuned for that video because the ones in this game are just really fast. Like, they have no health. If you barely touch one or, like, T-Bone one, you destroy it. But, man, are they so dang fast, bro. Like, you're driving a Koenigsegg or, like, a Bugatti. They legit do not care, man. It's just, it's crazy. It really is. Come here. What, what's that cop doing? All right, perfect. Destroy that one. Wait for my heat level to go up a little bit more. Destroy that one. Uh, oh, that car just ruined that, bro. And I'm getting surrounded now, so let's not get busted. Back it up. Back it up. All right, let me, watch. excuse me, Audi, run right into you again. And do that. So probably shouldn't go head on to police. And we're now level 6, guys. Here comes the Rhino in this game now. Should be showing up pretty quick, I would guess. Normally don't waste too much time with them. Corvette cop destroyed that one. Head back this way. Man, this is so entertaining. This is probably one of the things I actually did on this game a lot back in the day. Like, I actually remember coming home from school and legit doing this for hours on end. Messing around in this exact place with the police, bro. If you are wondering why is this place going to be the best, for one, you can actually legit go back and forth with the police. So, yeah, you could switch lanes. You can also lose them and fix your car all in the exact same place. Plus, it's a pretty big area, so you don't have to worry about, like, you know getting completely annihilated by well basically everything where's the rhino at there it is goodness bro that was that was a little bit scary gonna go back this way here now if you guys are wondering well block how do you actually destroy the rhinos in this funny thing is it's actually not that difficult the only issue is it's more of going to be the perfect time to actually do it like for example um that was not what i had in mind also they legit destroy you guys, by the way, so be careful. The Rhinos are no joke. Well, basically, any Need for Speed game, like, even in Need for Speed Heat, they obviously destroy you if they hit you, but, well, at least, you know, taking most of your health away. In this game, they also do it, so let me see if I can do it here. Oh, nope, fail. Oh, okay, so there you guys go. I did destroy the Rhino right there, so power shot into the back or, like, the side of it. Now, keep in mind, though, that's only going to... Whoa, mister. As I was going to say, though, keep in mind that obviously brings the... Well, there it is right there, so that's all I have to say. They come back really quick. So if you do destroy one, you're obviously going to have another one unless you go back to heat level 5. Let me go back this way here, and there's a roadblock. Oh, spike strips. What up, Chevy Cobalt? 
And look at all these cops. Oh, man, dude. The, the rhinos legit scare me. That's the best thing, though. Like, you can legit go back and forth, bro, and they don't even bother you. Look at that. I'm losing them already. I'm already losing the cops. Let's go back to them, though. Don't want to lose them yet. Look at the rhino, bro. It is kind of funny to me because you can actually find yourself doing this for hours on end. Now, I have 52,000 speed points at the moment. I do understand getting speed points in the game don't honestly matter that much. Like, you don't need them because you can't buy anything with them. It's more of like a status symbol. Not even kidding, guys. Back on PS3, I think I had 39 million. Probably tells you how much I actually played this game, which I think 90% of that was, you know, losing police and then obviously playing multiplayer, which is probably where most of that came from. But I feel like, guys, the police and most wanted are hilariously fun. Even running the Agera, unless you're actually getting a bit insane with them and you get pretty much get, like, boxed in, you will most likely never get busted in this area. Like, it's legit hilarious. And I kind of... Destroyed my tire. Let's go through here. I don't know where that Corvette's going. Drifting around. Look, you can legit just go around in circles with these cops, guys. Look at this. Like, you don't even have to. Kind of hilarious. They legit don't know what's going. I have so many cops here, too. Look at them all. There's so many over here. I should probably just stop drifting in circles. Let me head back this way. And come around. And they're all coming at me. Don't head on. I tried that last time. Didn't end very well. Ah, uh, there we go. T-bone attack on that one. I don't know if you can get maxed out on the bar on the sixth heat. Not sure. I've destroyed a lot of cops, so I would think you could. And there's the rhino again. Let me just jump over y'all. That's one way to do it. Got to destroy some of them though, because I'll never actually hear. There we go. Got that one. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. And that wasn't enough power to destroy the rhino, but at least I hit it, so I might have damaged it a bit. The funny part is the rhinos in this game actually turn, bro. Y'all notice how they have power and they turn? Unlike something like Need for Speed Heat to where they hit you and then, you know, they can't turn or anything. Which is probably a good way to balance them. If I saw a rhino coming full speed at me and that thing legit turned around and also did it again, I would be a tad concerned. Oh, I'm going to get busted. Woo, that was very close. That was very close. Let me come back this way. I'm glad it gives you, like, a split second to, like, react to that instead of busting you instantly. That would be unfortunate. Uh, I don't know if the rhino's alive still, is it? Where you at, bro? Oh, yep, it definitely is. And don't want to do that. That's not how you destroy it. Oh, almost got busted again. Oh, is that a Corvette over there, bro? Come here, Corvette. Corvettes just get destroyed so easy. Now, I got to ask you guys this. Do you like the police in Most Wanted 2012, or would you rather have police with a health bar? I feel like it's probably going to be a bit subjective there. Like, I will again make a video about that. Because I really do want to touch on those topics. There we go. And as you guys will see right there, I legit destroyed every single cop in the area. Funny thing is now, if you want to lose them, it's also going to be fairly simple. Head over here. Jump up in this area and hopefully not crash into that if you go too quick. And you can basically just kind of chill up here. Just like that. Pretty much the easiest way to do it. But, you know, I am going to touch on that in the other video when I talk about the police because you can obviously, you know, have a police car with a lot of health or you can instantly destroy them. Which one is better? Now, I feel like one way they could do it is maybe not lose health. You know, something might be a tad easier. And another way you can also do it is to maybe not give the police as much health if they do have a health bar. Also, this is bugging out, bro. When your car is off, you lose the heat. Dang quick, bro. Look at that. I'm already down to two there. And obviously, all that, guys, 57,000 speed points. Again, the speed point design in this game was a bit iffy because it really didn't do much. But at least in some way, I'm actually going to... Man, bro, that was bugging. Y'all see that? I'm actually going to drive back this direction over here. There is so many cops under me, bro. There is a lot of cops down there. I could probably jump down and have a crazy time. Should I do it? Yeah, let's do it. Let me go down there. I can end this off here with that. So I'm on heat level one, guys, heading back over to the 300 police that are trying to find me over here because they can't jump, which is probably a good thing. Look at that. Look at them all. Look, look, look. <laughs> oh, goodness. And I destroyed them all again. All right, then. That was a little bit too easy. All right, see y'all. Back to Taco Bell. Here we go. I'm out. And just like that, lost them again because I destroyed every cop in like 15 seconds. Seriously, though, guys, let me know your thoughts again in the comments. Do you like the police and most wanted? I have to know. Even though going around in circles and messing around with them is really fun, I would like to know if you guys like them. Using something like a Bugatti, a Koenigsegg, maybe the Zonda R, every fast vehicle in the game is obviously going to make this a lot easier. 
and most likely a lot more fun on top of it. But running from the police in the Koenigsegg Gera R is such a dang blast. Really hopes in the future that we actually see the Koenigsegg Gera R show up in a future Need for Speed game. Where is it the moment we currently get the Regera, which I honestly don't understand that much.